Welcome to a tutorial on Waffle's revolutionary forge tool. It's called Mjolnir Forge Editor. What it basically does is allow you to use Blender to make maps for Halo Reach's forge world. You do not need to modify Halo Reach at all. All you need to do is just launch the game with anti-cheat disabled. So let's get right into it. I'm just going to teach you the bare basics. So the first thing you need to go do, if you haven't already, download the latest version of Blender. Uh, just get the standalone from Blender's website, put it down there along with the GitHub link. So once you do that, go here, um, uh, download the zip, and while it's downloading, while those two things are downloading, read the wiki, the wiki guide. Uh, I'm just here to teach you the basics. There are some other things. I'll teach you how to do this. I'll teach you how to add objects. Um, I'll teach you how to do some of these as well. Um, more advanced users of Blender will know what they're doing. Uh, I'm just here for I'm just here to do the basics. So let's get right into that. All right. Once everything's done downloading and installed, uh, open this file right here in Blender. And once it loads and it all renders out, there's Forge on the left, and here's all the script right here. All you need to do is click this play button to run the script. Down the bottom left, it'll say um, it's running. If there's any errors, uh, there shouldn't be any errors, but if there is, uh, contact Waffle. So click layout so you can have a better view of this of Forge World. Now, what do you want to do now is go to uh, your Halo Master Chief Collection and run it with anti cheat disabled. All right. Now we're going to go to Forge World. Uh, it's currently only for Forge World. Uh, new maps to be added, I guess, later. Hopefully later. Get on that waffle. <laughs> Alright, let's go to Forge World. I'm just going to do the blank cam. <clears throat> blank canvas, excuse me. Alright, everything's loaded. Here we are in Forge. Now, we just need to go to Blender now. Alright, so, for example, the uh, Coliseum has those three uh, re initial spawn points. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go click File, we're going to Import, and we're going to import those Forge objects. So now, they're right there. Those three Forge objects, right over there. We can delete them. Uh, let's go to... Whoops, I'm still not used to the Blender's tools, or Blender's controls, I mean. So press shift and tilde so you can have a, a more traditional first person control. With WASD to move and Q to move down and E to move up and your mouse to look around. Scroll wheel to, in scroll wheel to increase and decrease speed. So let's park it right here for now. So. Let's add, let's add some objects. So we're going to go to Add. Uh, scroll all the way down here to Forge Objects. Structures. Let's start with a, let's start with a 5x5 flat. Uh, we can uh, move it like this. Move it up. And move it this way. So let's make a... Whoops. Let me zoom out a bit. Let's make a simple platform. So... I'm going to put it, eh, it looks like a good enough spot. Uh, what I'm going to do is press Control-C, Control-V, or Control-C, control and then Control-V, so I can have a duplicate. I'm going to right-click so it doesn't, so it snaps back to here. And what I'm going to do now is align this uh, about as perfect as I can with the other one. Does that look good enough? Yeah, that looks good enough. Alright, then I could do this. I can... Highlight over them, do the same thing, control C, control V, and then right click to not uh, confirm the spot. And then let's make a, let's make it like a four by four. I look good enough? Yeah. Let's do it again. Control C, control V. Let's move these objects now here. And then one more time. Control C, control V. Move those objects like so. That looks good. 
Uh, while we're at it, let's add a let's add a respawn point on the island. So same thing, but with respawn point. Let's just add one. Let's add one. Yeah, sure that works. Let's put it up in the air a little bit. That looks good enough. Now once you're once you're done uh, editing in Blender, click File and then go to Export. Click Export or click Forge Objects. Click Export. 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 <laughs> click Export and then click Forge Objects. Click I understand and I say to backup and don't ask me again and click OK. Now once it's done exporting the objects, go back to Halo and start a new round. round over. I'm going to grab my controller. And there they are. No smoke and mirrors. Now, back then if you had a griefer guy who would just come on your Ford world and start deleting objects, it's a thing of the past now. Um, yeah, so all you need to do is just go back in the blender um, and just export the objects again and then start a new round. Simple as that. Over. Um, all I know is the bare basic of blender, but that's all you really need to know about that. And there they are. Look at how perfectly lined this lined up this is. And then once you're once you're done with your masterpiece of a map, you just have to just save it. That's it. Thank you for watching.